All right, 2013 Royal Star Adventure. I'll show you where I'm at on this mod to the ignition switch where I'm installing a relay that I talked about in an earlier video. You can see I've now uh, pulled that pink the ignition wires here and I've joined onto the red wire and I've made me a pigtail with an end connector, female end connector here. Well, then I came in on the brown and blue wire and cut it in half and I made me additional pigtails, or at least I'm in the process of making pigtails. And I stopped here to show you, I wanted you to see how I'm using all this wrapping and stuff to protect it. So, don't chance on the job. Go ahead and use some good heat shrink tubing around all your connections and use the proper tools now. A crimp tool looks like this. If you don't have one invested in one, it'll do the proper crimping because you can see I'm using butt connectors here to connect one wire to another to give me an extension of a pigtail. Well, the same thing when I put these on, I need to crimp those. Now you can come back and solder these two, all of these connections, and I'm going to use heat shrink tubing and then in the final step, I'm going to plug these into the proper points on the relay, which I bought a relay here. Just a simple 30 amp auto relay you can see here, and they're, they're numbered. And I'll plug these in. I'll come back and do a final video showing the installation of it and tell you which numbers are plugged in. Okay, hopefully this is helpful. This 2013 Royal Star Venture. Again, I'm doing a relay bypass. Uh, the ignition switch is known to fail on these over time simply because so much power is pushed through that ignition switch that the contacts wear out and just normal wear and tear. So this helps take some of that load off and protect that ignition switch, eliminate that problem. So hopefully this is helpful.